Cornelius, you're a freshman basketball player, okay? And what we need to do for you, there's a company in Cincinnati called Robbins Sports Surfaces. The Lakers are world champions on that floor that they built there. North Carolina's national championships in college basketball on the court they built there. I'm going to challenge this company in Cincinnati, Robbins Sports Services, to rebuild this floor so that you can be state champions when you're a senior. Yeah. So, what is the gym floor at John McDonough High School looking like now? Here with us, that man you just saw there, ESPN college basketball analyst, former head coach of Notre Dame's Uni University's basketball team, Digger Phelps. He's got an update for us. Good morning, Digger. Willie, it's great to see you. My concern is I hope Scarborough's not confused because, yeah, there's a game in Pasadena this week, but it's the Rose Bowl, <laughs> and that's going to be Oregon State against uh, or Oregon against Ohio State. He, Tell him it's next week, and Reese Davis, who works at ESPN, will take them hand by hand because they're both Alabama alumni <laughs> so they can see the national championship game on the 7th in Pasadena when Alabama takes on Texas. Digger, he's going to be so disappointed when he's sitting in the middle of that Oregon cheering section. <laughs> waiting for the, waiting for the tide to roll out of the tunnel, and they're never going to show up. I just want to explain for people who, who didn't see that show where you where you you stole the show. Frankly, we were down in New Orleans just over a month ago at John McDonough High School. Uh, the, the gym floor, frankly, was terrible. Uh, had waves in it. You know, people dribbling off the floor, going out of bounds. So what we did was Digger said, "Get me the name of a flooring company." So. <laughs> We went online, we found the biggest one we could find, as Digger said in the clip, they put down the floor for the Lakers and for North Carolina. He went on the air with no advance notice to this company and said, Robin Sports Services, you guys need to come out here, step up and help these kids. Well, lo and behold, a couple hours later, the show had ended, guy walks into the gym <laughs> holding a clipboard, he says, I'm with Robin Sports Services, here to put in a new floor. Isn't that right, Digger? Yeah, that was Joe Covington Sr., who runs the company in Birmingham, Alabama, who installed the floors for Robbins. What they did yesterday, Jay Steer, who's the president and the CEO of Robbins, and his vice president of sales, a guy named Mike Neese, they both show up, take me in Chicago to a place called Attack Athletics, where all the NBA teams work out. They showed me that floor is the exact floor they're going to put in McDonough High School, and I was really impressed with the way they have really scientifically made this the best floor for basketball because one thing it does do is takes the stress off these big guys away 260 280 going down that floor and getting what we would call those stress fractures in their legs so it takes the pressure off that way but the floors themselves there's no dead spots and usually when you go in certain arenas we used to play dribble <laughs> tag for a minute to get used to the court so this is the first step but i got new news on the kitchen willie how much does that basketball court cost? I know. About $80,000 for that floor. Is that right, Digger, for the new basketball floor? Um, I would assume it's going to be up in that range, but yeah. I, knowing the way Jay Steer is involved with this, Robbins will make sure that this is the best court not, for these kids. The so as they tell yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> By the time you're a senior, you're going to win a state championship. And you'll see to it. All right, Digger, stick with us. We want to ask you a lot about a, a lot of other stuff, but thanks for the continued great work you do uh, in New Orleans. He just joined us on his own and uh, made so many things happen for John McDonough High School, and he's going to keep doing it. Digger, stick with us. Coming up next, the Washington Post, Eugene Robinson, he says the Homeland Security Chief's comment that...